This has been the greatest journey of my life. Over the course of two weeks, my friend Caleb and I took a road trip across the continental U.S. from Georgia all the way to Montana. This trip knocked our freaking socks off and changed our lives forever. But perhaps I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's go back to where this all began. Me outfitting my truck with a camper shell. Now, I drive a white 1997 Toyota Tacoma named Travis. I've had this wonderful vehicle since I turned 16 and it's been with me ever since. I love my truck and wouldn't trade it for anything in the world, including a van, which I very much want. See, I've been enchanted by the concept of overlanding ever since I discovered the bizarre trend. However, being a university student doesn't exactly allow me to have ample funding for buying toilet paper, much less owning two vehicles. So I decided to try my best to turn Travis into the overlanding vehicle of my dreams, or at least as close to it as I could get. I bought this camper shell on Facebook Marketplace, which, side note, is a phenomenal place to visit to find great deals on things you didn't know you needed until you see them, for around $150. I then tried to make the inside as homey and comfortable as possible. I started by installing a carpet. For this, I used a rug from Walmart that I cut slots out to hug the wheel wells. Next, I started to build a bed frame. I wanted a bed frame that was modular in that I could easily convert it to sleep two people. My main goals for this project were save money, make it work, and keep it light. So the material that best achieved these goals happened to be 2x3s. When I walked into Home Depot, I saw that they had them in stock as the first piece of lumber I came to. Truly a miracle from God. I used one sheet of half-inch plywood to use for the flat surfaces. I built a simple twin-sized box frame on the passenger side for single occupant use. I then connected it to a small shelf on the driver's side. Then, I installed two slide rails to go in between the two pieces to hold the plywood to transform the bed into dual occupancy mode. See, if you use bigger words, you can make your ramshackle redneck camper shell seem like a modern engineering marvel. Once I installed the 4-inch mattress topper as a mattress, that was pretty much it. The lumber and hardware for this part ended up costing me right under $60, so in all, I put a grand total of $210 into this thing in less than a full day building it out. This trip should be fun. Travis has gotten me through some sticky situations in the past, but even for him, this trip would be pushing the envelope. One way, our journey was roughly 2,500 miles because we were taking a much more uh, scenic route. Our destination might have been Montana, but that wasn't going to stop us from seeing as much as we could along the way. With the camper shell built out, it was time to head out bright and early, and by that I mean I rushed the build because I was running out of time and we absolutely had a late start leaving. But look how happy we were to begin our adventure. Well, one of us looks happy. Unfortunately, the lack of better planning led to rushing and cramming last minute preparation on a day we were supposed to leave. What are you doing? <laughs> Loading. <laughs> Loading my pockets for change. Are we that broke? Is this a bad idea? <laughs> That'll be fine. No promise. We got like what? Maybe five bucks you get. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm not done yet. All right, buddy, how much sleep did you get last night? One hour. One hour. And how long are we driving today? Potentially 11 hours to 12 hours. Technically, That's it's... not what I calculated. I hope you're wrong. Eight hours. <laughs> yeah, it's like eight hours. But it's stopping and starting, going. And... Are you... A... <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> Yeah, we're heading out west today. Day one is going to take us to Indianapolis, Indiana. That's where we're going to be staying. We're going to go through a few other places. So we're going to... We're, we're both tired, but that's okay. Eating some, some of us more than other. Yeah. Way. It's raining, too. <laughs> it's okay. So the change machine was broken. We have to go to another store, but we're going to get groceries here anyway. Why is this so difficult? <laughs> it's done. Well now what are we going to put the Nutter Butters in? So it's um, 10.31. What time, what time do we want to leave? We wanted to leave at 7, <laughs> and we're still in Gainesville. Um, it, it's great. It's, it's fine. This is completely okay. But we got an atlas. 
<laughs> so uh, and I got a health, yeah. healthy breakfast from Quick Trip. Yeah, so good. <laughs> All right, so we'll be there in like nine hours. Here we go. Okay. Our first stop on our journey was Brown County State Park in Indiana. That is not a short drive by any means. However, we were finally on the road and we were starting our journey. Now, when I said first stop, what I meant was our first stop for the night, so perhaps a better term would be destination, but whatever. Our first stop on our first leg to our first destination, that definitely wasn't confusing, was Chattanooga, Tennessee. Here is footage from that exciting first stop. Thank you. Oh, did I say stop? Yeah, we were supposed to stop there, however, we were already three plus hours behind schedule, so... Chattanooga had to be cut. We've both been to Chattanooga a few times, so we weren't too heartbroken to miss it. However, that didn't mean we were done with Tennessee. Since we skipped the new, we planned on getting lunch at 3 p.m. in Nashville. Now, neither I nor Caleb had ever been to Nashville, so we were quite excited to see our first new place on our road trip, and nothing could hinder our spirits. Did you just talk? Yeah, he's not going. So, uh, we're in Nashville. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, little road rage there, not too bad. Listen to some country music. So this is Nashville. Yeah. Uh, Nail you, yeah, brother. Nail you. Yeah, this, is, this has been a little interesting. Uh, we're so far behind, time-wise. Oh, yeah, no, it's it's 336. No, it's 2.30. 2.36, right, gain an hour. Um, and it's beautiful. yeah, it's great. Uh, but yeah, love it. We're gonna get some chicken. Yeah, we will. Yeah, we never did find that chicken restaurant. We were so frazzled from our late start that for some otherworldly reason, we ended up eating at freaking Margaritaville. I don't care if it's a Jimmy Buffett restaurant in Nashville, it's still a chain restaurant. And Caleb's Club Sandwich was hot garbage, albeit an expensive order of hot garbage. And with our incredibly compressed under one hour experience of Nashville, we headed towards Indiana. And by Indiana, I mean our next stop until our nightly destination of Indiana, which was Louisville. Here's some footage of our wonderful time in Louisville. I missed it. Yeah, you noticing a pattern? Yeah, you should. See, we had to cut our first day almost completely to make up for our nonsense that morning. Also, completely off topic, check out these gorgeous windmills here in Kentucky. I know a lot of people think they're eyesores, but when the only other thing to look at is infinite cornfields or just nothing, I think that's a prime candidate for free clean energy. You know, Kentucky, uh, Kentucky kind of sucks. Yeah, it does. Can I stop be rolling? Anyway, we did eventually reach our destination. The place we camped in was mainly for RVs, which I uh, didn't exactly have. What do you think about the, uh, the campsite, Jacob? We finally made it to our campsite. It's like 9.30. <laughs> we still have to go to Walmart. Oh, Lord help. We got such a late start. It's potentially going to storm. I don't know if you can see the cloud up there, but there's a big old cloud there. But... but we got a site right by the playground. Hey. This is interesting. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Show it. Step, show it. Dude. Oh gosh. Oh, <laughs> oh crap. Um, Dude, look, on the plus side, there's definitely some swings. Hell yeah, bro. Oh, there's a barn. There's a barn? Oh, there's a barn. Also, there's the truck. <laughs> it's uh, it's very out of place with all of the other campers in here. Talk about just, fun. I mean, look, there's just so many campers. This just <laughs> maybe it fits in with like all the other like vehicles that come with the campers, you know. But <laughs> I don't know, man. Dude, this is yeah, this doesn't look good. Unfortunately, our necessary run to Walmart for tarps and supplies we forgot to bring yielded our return to our campsite around 12.30 a.m. And it stormed. Our first night was truly miserable. However, we were finally able to sleep with the prospect of tomorrow being better in the back of our minds, along with the infinite possibilities of a journey ahead. And that was our first day. I hope you found this video entertaining and will subscribe to see the next part coming soon, or at least give it a like. Be sure to comment telling me what you thought of my redneck camper shell build or what you thought of our journey so far. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time.
Bring it all back.